Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week we're playing Planks to Irwin. This is a folk Irish tune. It was written by O'Carolan, who's a celebrated Irish harper, and it's a lovely, lovely, slow, melodic tune. Really fits the harmonica well. And we're going to get a little bit of practice at some extra techniques, as well as just the tune itself. We're going to be doing some tongue slapping and maybe some octaves and that sort of thing as well. First, we'll start off with the tune itself, and it's on a G harmonica. But if you don't have a G harmonica, you can still play along with whatever key you've got and you can still follow the tab on screen. I'll play the song first so you can hear how it sounds and then we'll go through the tab. You'll see on the screen that the tune is split into two parts, A and B. This is common with traditional tunes in a folk setting and usually you would play the first part twice or three times depending on the tune and then the second part twice or three times. So for this tune, if you're playing it in full, you'd probably do two parts of each in a row and then you'd move on to the next one. For our purposes, I'll just play each part once because then you'll just get an idea of the tune. As I said, in this lesson, we're going to look at some different techniques as well. When I play this now as an example, I'm going to use some of those techniques. If you're thinking, whoa, what's going on there? Don't worry, I am going to cover them later in the tune. And if you're not interested in those, you can just play the single notes, which I will be looking at as soon as I've played it. So here we go. So let's start with the A part, and the first line goes something like this. Okay, so we've got six blow, seven blow, seven draw, six draw, seven blow, uh, seven draw, sorry, seven blow, six blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. So I'll play that nice and slow. So if you want, that's kind of the first phrase, first half of it, and then... <laughs> Lovely little melody, this. Really works on the harmonica. And you want to play it quite nice and slow, because this is often played really, really nice and slow because it's supposed to be a kind of mellow, almost farewell song. The second line... is five draw, four draw, five blow, five draw, and then six blow, three draw, four blow, four draw. So if you played those two together, you'd have this. And that's half of part A, so a quarter of the tune, if you like. Notice that it feels, by finishing that four draw, as if it isn't resolving. You need something else to follow it. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. The next line is the same as the first line. But the last line of this part changes again. So let me just play the third line of part A, the same as the first line. Remember that from the first part. 
This last line though is slightly different from the second line, so have a listen. Just those last three notes, so we've still got five draw, four draw, five blow, and then five draw, six blow, but then we have So that's a four blow, a three draw, and a four blow. And crucially, it resolves. It now feels like the end of a line. It doesn't feel like it needs to keep going and resolve itself elsewhere. So the second half of part A, I'll play those last two lines. So that would be the end of part A, but as I said, if you were playing this tune, you'd probably play through that twice, so you do A times two, if you like, before moving on to part B. Let's have a go at playing A just through once in full together. Uh, so we'll go from the top and right to the end of part A. So that's part A. What we'll do now is we'll go on to part B and then afterwards we'll talk about some of the extra techniques I used at the start of the lesson when I played it through to fill out the tune a bit. But for now, here's part B. I'll play it through and you can hear it. Okay, so the first line uh, would be six blow, seven blow, seven blow, seven blow, and then seven draw, seven blow, eight draw, eight draw, eight draw, seven draw, six blow. Oh, it does, it's not that. <laughs> okay, I'll play that once more. Good, good. The next line. We've got eight blow, eight blow, eight draw, eight blow, and then seven blow, seven draw, six draw, six blow. So if you're a beginner, you might be finding those higher notes a little bit difficult to get a hold of. Really good practice. You've got to keep your mouth nice and steady with the kind of mouth shape that hopefully you've learned where you have a low jaw and you're nice low jaw and you're nice and far onto the harmonica. So let me play that line again. And once more. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> So let's play those two lines together. So we've got lines one and two of part B. Good, good. Now the second line runs almost straight into the next line. There isn't really a gap there. So we've got Okay, so it, there isn't really a gap, but let's do line three. So we've got...
So that line is six draw, seven draw, seven blow, seven draw, and then six draw, seven draw, seven blow, six blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. I'll play it again. Da 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 da. Lovely, lovely tune. And then, just to finish off, final line. Say so final line, but I've actually put it as two. So let's do the first uh, line of this. So. So five draw, four draw, and then five blow, five draw, six blow. So if you notice the last line of part A, we've got this same uh, collection of notes, and we've even got this last bit. So if you like, you could just say it finishes the way part A finishes, but I have put a bit in brackets because it's quite nice to finish off by putting a five, six, seven blow on the end there, just to finish off the tune, if you like, as a nice little way of rising up to the next, in our case, the next G note, the next tonic for the chord. Uh, so that would finish off part B. Let's have a go at playing part B in full. So here we go. Good, good. So as I've played it there, I've played it just as single notes. Now, as I promised, I want to look at a few different techniques, just very briefly. I mean, this is something that you could take a lot of time over, but I wanted to mention them because this is a good context in which to talk about them. So some of the things that I was adding when I played this at the start of this video are down to tongue blocking technique. So I'm tongue blocking the tune. So I'm not lip pursing puckering, I'm actually, my mouth is wide as four holes and my tongue is applied onto the instrument to block out three of those. Look at a lesson on tongue blocking if you want to learn that, but assuming you're a tongue blocker or you're trying it out, let's think about some of the techniques that I was using. I mean, if you take that last line, when I played it at the start, I went, So first off, I was playing octaves. So instead of just playing single notes, I was playing two notes at the same time. So my mouth's over four holes. Oh, try and get the light right, quite difficult to see. But uh, mouth over four holes, and then my tongue was on the middle two, straight down the middle, so I blocked two of them out. So I get an octave, an octave split that you might be familiar with. And I move up one and four, so that's the octave one and four at the same time. And then I slide along and I get two and five. Bit out of tune. But I'm getting two and five blow at the same time. And then three and six. And then four and seven. So. On the four and seven blow, where I finished, I did a tongue switch, if you like. So my tongue was going side to side. So I'd start in the middle and then it's going side to side to get that kind of intermittently playing the four and the seven by moving to either side so that your, let me see if I can show you, your tongue would be in the middle, but then it's, so you get the hole on that side, you get the hole on that side, you get the hole on that back and forth like that. If I slowed it down, it 
like that as my tongue goes. And you can see my jaw moving a little bit as I do it as well, probably just a natural byproduct if you like. So that was one of them. I was also slapping some notes, so. That sort of sound. You can either just slap the note itself, or you can do intermittent ones or repeated ones. So I've done two per note, so it almost doubles up the note. What am I doing there? Well, I start with the tongue off the harmonica, and then I apply it onto the harmonica to get that slap sound. If I slow it down. But you only get the slapped sound when you do it fast. Like that. Okay. Ah, sticky reed. <laughs> that kind of slap sound. So I was doing that on some of the notes as well. Um, so a combination of the octaves and then the tongue uh, switch and then those slapping sounds gives you more of a full backing kind of sound. You know? So I've only briefly mentioned those, but I did want to mention them because if I was playing it, that's the kind of thing I'd add in just to make it interesting. You could also vary it because maybe perhaps I was overdoing it there, so some of the time you would play just single notes and some of the time you would put in those extra effects. Maybe the first time round part A you would do it clean and then the second time round you would add in some of those techniques. But anyway, that's beside the point. I hope you've enjoyed playing this tune. It's a lovely, lovely tune um, and I will be back soon with another song. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet, so if you've got a request, please put it in the comments beneath the video. Also, you can email me, contact at learntheharmonica.com. You can get me on Twitter at Learn the Harp and also on Facebook if you look for Liam Ward. Also look for learntheharmonica.com on there and you can find out about the latest offers and I put some extra special stuff on there as well. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like, please subscribe to my channel, new lessons every week, and also tell anyone you think might be interested because I want to spread the word. See you again soon. Cheers. Thank you.